Later, Shell Transport gave notice to its employees in fleet and warehouse operations a month ago of retrenchment because of the transfer and discontinuation of its business for economic and technological reasons. In the notice, the transport company informed the employees of a new company, Transport Holdings, will be taking over its entire operations, including its fleet and warehouse, that may result in its 82 employees affected. The workers were encouraged to apply for employment at the new company as it advertises its lower positions as the company is coming in with its own management. But Nakafu Secretary General John Paporo questioned why top positions were never advertised to give a fair opportunity to everyone to compete. The people who occupy the top position on the new company is the previous at Namibian, which is white. Now what we are being informed, on the lower position, now our people must apply. Now the, questions were, the question remains, why all the position was not advertised for any person to be open for market, any person to apply? Why this must be applied? The other people were, were, were just appointed. He pointed out that the union will not compromise the rights of the workers, calling on both parties to follow the labor law and follow the affirmative action policy. Etasha Transport's general manager, Keith Rylands, informed the group that a severance pay will be paid out and warned workers to behave while the dispute is being addressed. Also, we have agreed that the, con the, the stuff going forward, okay, we have agreed that we are big people. We all understand that we have a disciplinary code and procedure, and it applies to everybody in this business, every single person from today onwards. If there is any further contravention in terms of what you should be doing and how you should be doing it, the company will apply the appropriate disciplinary action that it seems fit. And it applies to everybody. The dispute forwarded to the Labour Commissioner is expected to be attended to on the 29th of this month. The workers who were on a two-day strike after their shop steward was suspended will be going back to work today.